Okay, welcome back to Mrs. Riley's maths videos. This is the second theorem we're being asked to prove. So don't forget the theorem is a statement that we're asked to prove using logic. And we can use what are called axioms, which are facts that we don't have to prove from scratch. We can take them to be true. So yesterday we proved that the three angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees using the straight line being 180 degrees, that axiom and that the alternate angles between parallel lines are equal. That was another axiom. So today, what we're being asked to prove is in a triangle that the exterior angle is the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So if you want to stop the video now, pause the video now and give that a go. Or if you want, you can wait until I give you the first diagram, which might help you. Okay. So here's the first diagram. I'm going to draw a triangle. And I'm going to just extend this base onwards um, in my triangle. I'm going to call this A, B and C. And I'm going to call this D. Now you can pause now if you want. So you can pause at any stage and I'll give you those little hints to pause if you're ready to try it yourself. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to label the angles in this triangle. This time I'm going to use numbers because the letters aren't really that helpful in this case. So I'm going to call this angle 1, this angle 2, and this angle 3 and this angle four. Okay. If you think you've got enough information to give it a go yourself now, then pause the video. Okay. My hint for you, if you're still with me, is that we're going to use the straight angle equals 180 degrees. Again, that we're going to use that axiom. And then we're going to use the theorem we did yesterday, which is that the sum of angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees. So it's a bit weird in that with theorems, we can use the previous theorem as an axiom. So once we've proved something, we can use that proof and just state it as if we knew it was true all along. So we can use the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. I think you should be able to do it from here. So I'm going to pause again. Give it a go yourself. OK, hopefully you've all tried it yourselves. If you haven't and you're just uh, still following me here, then I hope that this will make sense. But really, at this stage, you should be able to give it a go and try it yourself. So let's see how we would prove it. So proof. We know that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3, the measure of those is equal to 180 degrees because the sum of angles in a triangle. Now, these statements here, these pink statements here are really important. You can't just write this down. You have to say why that's true. Okay. What else do we know? We know that angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degrees. Why is that? We know that's true because it's the sum, uh, the uh, angle is a straight angle equals 180 degrees. Now, what I've just realized is, is that I never wrote down what we were trying to prove. So let's go back up here. We want, sorry, I'm going to have to move him. Okay, we want, what we want to prove is that um, this exterior angle is equal to this plus this interior angles. Okay, so you want to prove that the measure of angle four is equal to the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two. Okay, so this is our exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite 
interior angles. Okay, so that's what we're trying to prove. Angle 4 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. So what we've done said so far is these three angles add up to 180. 1, 2, 3 adds up to 180 because it's the sum of angles in a triangle. 3 and 4 add up to 180 because they're a straight angle. If these both add up to 180, then surely we can say that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 3 plus angle 4. They're both equal to 180 degrees. Okay. So looking at this, you should be able to see, well, if I knocked this off and I knocked this off, I could say that angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle 4, which is what I was being asked to prove. So we have proved, proof, okay, because this is that the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. Now, instead of writing proof like that, you may know that we what we do is we write QED, which is Latin for something or other, which means I've just proved it. Okay. Well done. Did you get it right? I hope so. Well done.